Hey everyone, it's Antagonist Kim, and we're back with more Wildflowers. So, uh, we are kind of at the end of the game, really, from where I'm looking at it. There's a few other kind of quest things. I mean, I feel like if they haven't played the credits yet, to me, it's not fully done. Um, now, that being said, I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish Wesley's thing and, and get to the whole, you know, final part of the relationship with that. Ideally, I'd really like to, but we'll see where it goes after we do... I, th I think... I, m I imagine Zephyr's probably going to come by this this current episode to say hey we can drain the water out of the ferry uh we have yet to still find freaking pearls so again that could just be open-ended can't freaking get pearls to finish the quest um i am still going to put um some other uh effort into making the storm potions so that i can still try to you know farm for pearls really is what i'm looking at and then we have of course the coven party it's gonna be at seven o'clock for this episode so, let's go for it. Thomas! Uh, this isn't the best time. I'm, uh, expecting someone. Hi, Thomas! Oh, no, 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 no. No, not goblins. Anything but goblins. Oh, wait, uh, I, I'm, I'm Zephyr. And yes, I'm, uh, uh goblin. Uh, I've been, I've been wanting to chat. I want to clear something up. I think my mom gave your mom a spook in the mine some years ago. Yes, yes. And then the nitrogen levels in our soil started dropping. You did something to leach the nutrients from our land. No, no. It's because the mining company's activities caused flash floods. We goblins would never hurt your farm, Thomas. I got a question for you. I've noticed that things on my farm get repaired all of a sudden. That you're doing? Um, yep, 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 yep. Uh, sometimes I tinker around your farm when I see a need for tinkering. So, uh, what do you say? Maybe we could try being, I don't know, uh, normal with each other? Fine. Yay! Uh, I mean, uh, really? I was dead set against witches, but it turns out you magical folks are good for something after all. So... Who knows? Yippee! Woohoo! I'm so excited I could just... Whoa. She always do that? Pretty much. Neat. Okay. Ooh. Uh, we got powered uh, sapphires. I mean, I'm not sure what we're going to do with that, but we'll go with it. Get the fairy rolling along. Okay. Did you figure out the other stuff? I sent a letter to my ma letting her know that Glory is back. They were so close when I was a kid. I know she'll be glad. Okay. So, have you repaired a no. gem finder yet? I haven't quite gotten around to it. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? I want to see him in action. Okay, we'll let you walk away from that. So that completed itself. Cool. So let's maybe go back into town. We'll see if the fairy's fixed. Um, we got to wait on that. I know it could grow some more stuff, but guys, I don't know if we're going to worry about that right now. I'll collect these, though. Ooh, we got a lot of weeds and stuff. Not quite what I'm looking for, but... Maybe since there's, like, already a storm happening, we can go check out if there's already pearls on the beach. Snag these guys. Ah, okay. Ooh, you're in a different spot, kitty. Pet you. Coolio. Uh, Wesley actually won't. He'll be in town. So that works too. Alright. And then... The big dudes... All right, we'll go check out the pearl situation and then we'll find Wesley. At 
Please. Freaking A. Maybe I should look at the hints thing and see if there's any other place I can find pearls. I know I've, I've looked at other vendors to see if they sell them. They don't. As far as I saw, you, you know, use it to get freaking... From the ocean, obviously, but... We'll check the other side. Um, I would like to just talk to Thomas outside of the mission thing and see if he has anything new to say. Hey there. It makes me real happy to see Gloria with her kids again, and they're happy too. Violet gave me a handful of dahlia seeds the other day, for free. Nice. What do you have? We both are out of season. Thank you, sir. Man, oh man. Yeah. Oh. Is the storm gonna get crazy? I need to get crazy so I can get stuff, but maybe not. How's it going? It's always a treat when Gloria stops by. The woman knows her literature. Oh, guys, we're still pretty freaking far from that, too. Where's he at? Yeah, we still got a whole nother thing for this. What's up, Kai? Check out your store again. See if you got anything new. I know we kind of unlocked more buying all stuff for winter, him. All I could think about was piecing out as soon as the ferry got fixed. But I don't think I can leave until I find out what the deal is with the ferry and the dude who had the backwards feet. Uh, looks like nothing new. So I will check out the ferry. Is it fixed? Are we good now? Ooh, the ferry is good. Wait, was I able to go on to the, the ferry before? Interesting. I felt like I couldn't do that before. Cool. We paid tickets only. So I wonder if maybe there was a way for us to go to Milkwater and I missed that. I don't think we would have had to worry about it. But maybe. Sebastian, how's it going? Vi's been quiet since Mom came back. It's like she doesn't know how to act. Now that she doesn't have to step in for mom. Hey, it's hard to take over for that kind of stuff for a sibling, you know? I have talked to all these guys already. You I have not talked to. Oh, there's Gloria sitting over there again. It's so strange having Gloria back. I expect it might put Lena on edge for a while. Really? Why? Because if it had been Gloria who was head of the coven when Lena disappeared, Gloria might have gone in after her. And Lena knows it. Hmm. So is Lena open? I wonder if that changes a dialogue with her. Let's see. Last spring, Hazel was still with us, and I was still telling her that we couldn't afford to be honest with our neighbors. Hazel, if you're listening, I was wrong. I'll happily admit it. Yeah, I guess not. And I think the only other person really is Giva. Gloria, if you don't mind my asking, do you remember anything? From when I was trapped in the gloaming? No. I remember bits of visions. Maybe they came from that wraith. But it's nothing I'm going to fill your mind with. You're so young. Hmm. I already talked to him, so hold the phone. Let's see if uh, Violet's at her store. Cool, we'll go talk to her. My mom's funny. I don't think she'll ever understand that for a while I was Sebastian's parent. Okay, I get that, I get that. 
Um, actually, real quick, real quick. What are you buying? The outfit I'm wearing. I don't think I want to give that up just yet. I just genuinely kind of want to know, like... I mean, I know they said bring him back to town hall. Was something supposed to happen with that? I feel like something should have happened with that, but maybe not. You know what we could do? Hear me out. We will talk to everyone in... Uh, Ravenwood. Because we haven't talked to them about the situation yet. Everyone else... Oh, and Giva. Let's go find Giva as well. And then we'll go do the coven thing. She's up here. Poor Cameron is always asking me for spice recommendations and then telling me they're too spicy. Paprika's not spicy. Anything different with up here? I feel like something cool should have happened up there, but... Maybe nothing ever happened up there. Alright, I guess we'll walk. I mean, I could use a flying thing. I don't know. I said I would talk to the other peeps. So we'll talk to them. I feel like the timing goes a lot faster now that the main thing's done, huh? So, Perry, how do you feel now that all of Fairhaven has met you? <sighs> Untethered, which is startling, but maybe I can grow to like it. This feeling of openness. How about you? I hear Gloria has been returned home. All creatures deserve to be with family if they choose. Okay, and then last but not least, we'll talk to Zephyr one more time. What is your take? Anything new or different? Here to talk to you. And Wesley, one more time, unless that changes. I'll just walk over there, or maybe we'll fly back. I don't know. Let's go to this little party, little shindig. Alright. Wait. Yeah, after 7pm, right? Parker won't say much to me or the children. I understand him wanting to punish me, but it's not their fault. Why won't it work? Maybe I need to- there we go. <laughs> I was like, hot dang, and of course it's raining. Sophia and Juliet, welcome. We're so glad you came. Wow. I guess I can see why Vanessa wanted to break in here so badly that she, uh... We don't have to talk about that, Mom. I'm fine. Really. Oh, you're strong. Like your dad. Is this... where Giacomo used to meet you all when I thought he was out at Damon's bar? Yes. And there's something of his I've been meaning to give you. This was Dad's wand. Does it still work? No. The wand is bonded to the witch, but you should have it. Thank you. <sighs> you were all such a big part of his life, and I didn't even know about it. I wish. Well, 
It's in the past now, but if Juliet wants to be the next Moretti to join your coven, I'll support her decision. It's what Giacomo would have wanted. And what about you, baby bro? Mm, this island might not be as lame as I thought. I guess I'll stick around. Okay, okay, you can let go. Come on. Ooh, cupcakes. Wait, these aren't like magic cupcakes that will turn me into a frog, right? No way. What kind of weirdo would do that? Wait, okay, levitation. Got it. All right, everyone got anything new to say for the party? The kid's father has been calling almost every day. I know he felt he had to get a job off island to support them, but he left them all the same. Even so, he seems to have grown a lot. He's not the same man I used to know. Hey, what about you? You already talked. Anybody else? Francis was always going to join the coven. It was just a matter of when. Cool. I still can't believe Gloria's back. Really, back. So much has happened. It's like we're in some strange dream. Hey, Francis. Gloria is such a delight. I already see us being best friends. What a woman. I know comparing isn't the greatest thing to do, but Vanessa's taste in jewelry is so tacky. Gloria's been a breath of fresh air. She gives me a vibe and lets me go wild. Nice. What about you? You're golden? I could donate these shiitakes to the wellspring. Or... I could prototype some cute mushroom leather boots. Okay, so I will do one other thing that I thought about as well. If I just go into the gloaming, does anything change? Because this is where we found her, right? I don't remember which one has like the big uh, other section that we couldn't quite unlock. I don't know if it's this one. No, it wasn't this way. So hold the phone. Hold the phone. I always forget which one is which. It's fine. I've got magic to spend. It's this way. I was just curious if after we saved the, her mom, if there was anything new or different that would happen. Okay, maybe not. Very well then. I guess we'll head home. I've got a little bit of time. I suppose I could do some mining to get the topaz, but... I don't know if that makes any sense. Let's see if anything changes if we leave. Take these. How do you feel now? Sebastian's been so happy since his mom came back. I wish... <sighs> forget it. It's a stupid thought anyway. Fortunately, it's not quite the same for your dad. Which stinks, you know? One could wish that, for sure. And I totally get it. Mmm... We'll mess around a little bit in here. I th think this one gave us some. I won't go that far because obviously, like, we can't do much with it, but. <laughs> and I don't know, I might keep you guys. There we go. I might keep you guys since it's only, you know, 20 minutes. I don't know.
Yeah, yeah. Could also be that I just don't want this game to end, but... It is Am I ready is. for bed? Uh, yeah. It's really just this and Wesley's thing, you guys, but I feel like... I mean, did it update any of their stuff? Hmm. Inventory. I just need two more of these. One pearl. But I need three... I need three pearls. Because two dust each to make the powder, right? Or am I... Yeah, two each. We gotta make some paper, too. We'll make the paper real quick. Morning, Violet! All the Mirandas. I wanted to see the wild farm again. Violet said you restored it to its former glory. I just wanted to go for a walk. He's still getting used to mom being here, so he's like her barnacle. I heard that. Otto's called an emergency meeting. Will you come with us? It'd be my pleasure. Oh. Good morning. I am truly glad to see you all looking well. Otto soft, everybody. Now, with 100% less slime. There's no point in theatrics. I am resigning as the mayor of Fairhaven, effective immediately. I'm not necessarily, I'm not sure what it means by this. He had to do this. No shocker there. He kind of had to step down, right? Meeting Stranger Danger Vanessa in the woods for all those years was corruption. I think. Who will replace you? I would like to nominate Gloria Miranda to be interim mayor until you all can hold another election. Does anyone disagree with that? Good. Gloria, do you accept? I... I do. Then that's settled. And it means that Vanessa and I can leave Fairhaven. The state attorney general wants to have a conversation about some of my, um, past fundraising efforts. I have something to say. I'm sorry for the way I acted. I may have been possessed by a wraith, but before that, I kept secrets and manipulated people. I was only concerned about myself. I'm sorry to the coven. And to Juliet especially. I've thought about it, and I don't have a place in Fairhaven. Not right now. Or ever. So I've spoken to Giva about taking over at the school. I'm quite excited. We'll be taking the next ferry to Milkwater. And then, a sea monster came out of nowhere and ate the ferry. <sighs> Violet! Joking. Joking. <laughs> hey, I... I just realized, I came to Fairhaven a year ago today. And do you wish that you were on that ferry? Heading back to the city? No. Not for anything. You guys. So, I mean, I don't know if I can just go back in. I mean, I probably could, but I was about to say, I was like waiting for the credits to happen, but... I don't know, I might end it here. I mean, as much as I'd like to finish the Wesley thing, it looked like his heart thing wasn't nearly finished. 
And obviously I wasn't having any luck with the pearls, but I'm not so much mad about that. Um, kind of like I said with these games, I'm not usually all about romancing the characters all the time, you know? Um, so I'm not totally upset about it. Like, that's not like the main reason why I play these games. It's mainly just like my OCD of, uh, you know, planting and, you know, farming and homesteading is always fun for me. But I will say this though, very cool game. Lots of fun. I really like the story. I had a few plot twists here and there, and I like that it was voice acted, which is super nice, because, you know, with most of these games, you don't you don't really get that, like, opportunity, like, that real, like, fully acted cast, you know? Usually you're reading everything, which can get a little tiring, but not so bad. Um, this is definitely a very linear game, and for sure, so a lot of it's timed events, this and that, and... It made me wonder if, for Zephyr's uh, mission, if maybe I, I just kind of missed the window and that's why it was so hard to get the pearls. So like when I started learning that the pearls came from the storms, I maybe should have just kind of worked on that more closer to when I received it and kind of even with the relationship. So I felt kind of like put off a little bit with Wesley's thing as well because I felt like you met him and maybe because I wasn't fast enough with all the timing stuff, but I felt like you met him a little later in the game than you would the rest of the village, so... Or I guess the rest of the town, that you wouldn't be able to build up your relationship quite fast enough to me. And I wish that it kind of guided you a little more about giving them their favorite foods, right? So I, I literally gave Wesley almost all, all the all his favorite dishes before I knew... Before, like... The timed events went with it and said, hey, you know, your relationship is progressing, you know? So. So, yeah, I don't know. That's why I'm not so much upset. It was, it was cool. It was, it was fun. Maybe if you, I mean, if you guys are keeping up on my Coral Island thing, I will definitely be working to get with someone there. I haven't decided who yet. I'm a little upset Axel isn't relate, isn't relation up, relationship material. Maybe that's going to change enough people ask for it but um i'll definitely do something there for sure because that's definitely a more long haul game that is kind of linear but not really a timed thing as much as this this is definitely this has a story with a beginning and you know progression so and as, as far as paleo pines is concerned same thing the you can't romance anyone there but you know it's dinos it's farming it's what i like to do so yeah guys this is a great game. Thanks so much for joining me for it. Um, we'll see where this goes for this last little bit. Hey, hold on. Let's see. Okay, congratulations on finishing the first year of Wildflowers. We hope you enjoyed playing. Though you finished the main story, there's still plenty more stories to experience, so check in with people over the coming days if you want to see more. So... Oh. So I don't know if they mean like... I don't know. I might just end it, guys. I might just end it. I know... I know that Dry Dock's been talking about with a few other DLCs coming out with like a hairstylist and other stuff like that, but... I feel like unless there's like some real big changes happening with the game, like real big updates, like a whole nother like, I don't know, a DLC download with like a real chapters and everything, like another part of the story or something, then I would probably go with that. So I hope you're not too mad at me for it. But guys, this is the last episode of Wildflowers. I enjoyed the ride and I hope you did too. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you later in a new game. Bye for now.